Good morning, everyone. Mark Angelo here. I've been doing a lot of thinking, trying to put together in my mind why is it that we are facing what we're facing today. I know that many people who believe in spirituality understand how the law of nature works. Some people call it karma. Some people just realize that for every action there is a reaction. As a species, we have not been in our best behavior. We have not led life with our hearts, but instead we have led life with our brain, with greed, and we forget that what comes up must come down. For every action, there is a reaction. And that is how life is. It's not that there is a man upstairs with a beard pointing his fingers at you and telling you that you're going to go to hell and there's going to be a, a, a raft and, and, and all sorts of stuff. But just it's the way that energy operates. It's how it is. So, we are being tested yet again. And I believe that the life that we have been living, so materialistically based, so, so much greed, so much want and need for money, has created an imbalance in our world. And we're seeing it. The path that we are on is like a runaway train that will eventually collide. And sometimes nature, or just the way life plays out, has a way of slowing us down, has a way of making us think. It is unfortunate because many people will die, many people will suffer. And this unseen enemy is an equal opportunist. It doesn't matter if you're old or young, and although they say this affects more of the elderly, this affects everyone. And it's getting us to think, and it's getting us to set our priorities right. And many people have their priorities all wrong. It's all about their looks, what they want, you know, materialism. We're putting the economy in front of people's lives and health. And we are being tested once again as a species. And I believe we are failing miserably. So if I had the ability to make the world a certain way, if I was president, if I was, you know, a dictator or whatever it is, what would I do to make the situation right? First of all, my main interest would be the well-being of every single human on this planet. How do we stay alive and healthy? I wouldn't be worried about an economy, about money, because basically we could do away with money. If you really wanted to, people would do things out of their heart to help one another, to create a society that has plenty for everyone. Why are we basing our lives on a green piece of paper that is worthless? They're printing money out and creating a deficit. The fiat system wasn't meant to last this long. It does not work. And so you have a group of people that have so much and a group of people that have hardly nothing. How balanced is that? That is wrong. No person should ever go hungry. No person should ever go without a roof over their heads. And somebody else has all these mansions, all these cars, all these clothing, all these shoes. That's wrong. We need to rethink the way we live. And we, the people, need to take charge and change this reality. Because this reality is doomed. We are heading for a massive crash. And unless we change our way of being, our way of living, I'm afraid 
that we are going to become extinct. So anyway, not trying to fear monger, just trying to get everybody to think and to see where this is headed. Everything we see in politics is about bailing this company out, giving money, and this, that, and the other. You can't eat money. And if we stop putting a price on things and start realizing that we are all entitled to be able to have food in our stomach and a shelter and to stop charging people for things and just realizing that we were born in a planet that has plenitude and no one should ever be charged for a single thing. How dare we take ownership of something that does not belong to us? It's time to change the world. And it starts with you. Love you guys, but remember to always love yourselves too.